Continuing our team coverage tonight, the former mayor of Macon joined activists in Atlanta today demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. Atlanta Now News reporter Valencia Jones says the group's mission is inspired by Dr. King's legacy. Call for an immediate ceasefire now. Former mayor of Macon and Vietnam veteran C. Jack Ellis joining peace advocates outside of Ebenezer Baptist Church, where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. advocated for nonviolence in the birthplace of civil rights, urging Israel and Hamas to stop the war in Gaza. We are calling upon them to stop the indiscriminate bombing of citizens, of civilians, children. The Israel Hamas war launched on October 7th when Hamas terrorists fired rockets into the Gaza Strip. Israel since launching attacks in response. People that were killed in Israel by Hamas, we're not saying that was right, but there's also no justification for the retaliation, and Dr. King spoke about retaliation. Thousands of children among those killed. To think that my grandbaby could be in that situation if, if the roles were reversed, it's not right. Every child has the God-given right to grow up in an environment where they're not carrying other dead children in their arms. Ron Zapoli reflecting on his time spent in the Rafa and Jabalia refugee camps in Gaza back in 1988. Documenting human rights abuses, airstrikes hitting the Jabalia camp this week. I could personalize it a little bit more, having been in that camp, seeing the conditions people were living in, and now reading about that bombing. Dr. King reminded us that silence is a sign of betrayal. Urging the world to join the calls for a ceasefire while honoring Dr. King's legacy of peace. Valencia Jones, Atlanta Now News.